everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance in Tarot. This is the monthly love reading for the sign of Sagittarius for the month of January, January 2021. On to the new year, new year we are and let's hope it's going to be a good one. This, this month I am using the Arcanum Tarot and I'm going to let cards fall out from Dorian Virtue's Romance Angels. I always use that deck, not sure why, but I really did, I, I like the deck a lot. Okay, so if anybody is new to my channel, I just want to uh, let you know that this is a general reading. If the reading resonates with you, that's great. If it doesn't, you can always contact me um, to purchase a private reading. I'll get back to you within 24 hours. My email will be at the bottom of the video. And my turnaround time for readings is less than five days. I'd like to get the readings out as fast as I can. All right, so I really do make that a priority. Uh, a little bit about myself, I am a clairsentient, clairvoyant, which means that I can read people. That's where I shine. That's where I do my best work. Reading people means I can pick up their energies, feelings, emotions, vibes. All right. So I can feel energies between people and um, uh, being empathetic, like being clairsentient is heightened. So I can feel past, present, and future. I can feel why their heart is broken. I can feel why they don't want to continue with a relationship with you or don't want to commit, that sort of a thing, okay? All right, so um, the way I do my card readings is I shuffle till one card falls out. Those are clarity cards and jumpers. And if more than one card falls out, I put it back in the deck and I shuffle till the one card falls out, okay? All right, so I'll give the cards a good shuffle. What are the messages for Sagittarius? for the month of January 2021. Sagittarius, January 2021. All right, Sagittarius 2021. Okay. All right, what are the messages for Sagittarius 2021? Sagittarius 2021. We have the Ten of Wands. Page of Wands. Sagittarius 2021. And because it's a general reading, um, and we all walk different paths, I'm a Sagittarius too, um, uh, any king like any uh cards that come up with that show people it could be male or female all right if the king of cups comes up could be male or female because whoever's watching could be male or female right all right seven of cups knight of pentacles and the King of Swords. Okay. All right. So the first card we have here is the Ten of Wands. This is you feeling stressed out, exhausted, too many responsibilities. This card is saying that you're coming to an end of that cycle. Okay. Um, tens are endings. Aces are beginnings. So this is just saying that you, you can see the castle is here. So he's getting close to his destination. So you could have, could be feeling somewhat stressed out right now or in the beginning of the month. It talks about feeling overwhelmed, uh, work, burdens, guilt. So you're carrying a, a lot of responsibility that you have lost sight of your purpose. Okay. And you're caught up in other people's demands and you're under pressure. All right, so this is about prioritizing. So the relationship that you're in, you could be carrying a lot of burden with it or maybe the only one who's kind of carrying the relationship, okay? All right, then we have the Page of Wands. Now, the Page of Wands is about good news. It's creativity, it's ideas, it's friendship. It's This is good news regarding... Um, sociable times. So like I, I know we're all under some sort of a lockdown right now, but this is saying that you've got some sociable times coming. All right. And it's going to be involving passion. This is, um, it's about good news and a young situation starting up or a project or development. If you're developing a product, uh, a project 
or wanting to create something. There's some good news coming here. And also there's red. This is very fiery. This is a passion. Uh, it could be that uh, new relationship. Okay, friendship. So then we have the Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Cups talks about having your head in the clouds. This is that honeymoon phase. It is about... Uh, not being able to think of anybody else but that person that you like or that you're in love with or you have a crush on. So the Seven of Cups speaks about possibilities, fantasy, imagination. It's an overdrive. So it's like you're creating something. You see me smiling. It's just like you're creating something and your head is in the clouds and there's a lot of fantasy and imagination regarding somebody. You know, um, it's about visions as well. So you're, you have a lot of fantasy regarding this person that you want or you like, you know, but it's going to be a very slow moving energy. There's the Knight of Pentacles. Now it could be two people because we have the Knight of Pentacles and we have the Knight of Swords. Sorry, the King of Swords. This is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. And this is a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. So you could be picking between two people, involved with two people. This is a slow-moving energy. This is a the, the Knight of, the Knight of um, Pentacles is about a reliable man. They're patient. They're hardworking. You know, um, they have... This guy could be offering security. He's got the pentacle in his hand. And then we have this man. We have the king of swords, uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Okay, this is a younger one. Kings are fathers, grandfathers, um, uh, older men. These are guys, these knight of pentacles are typically um, uh, younger people who are, you know, they don't have any children or anything like that. But again, because it's a general reading, it could be female. All right, that you could be picking between. So this person is a little bit more, he's alpha. Powerful, intentional, quick acting, um, a leader. They're more decisive. They know what they want. This person is dragging his feet and this person knows what they want. Okay. And it's about you creating something and just not really sure who you're going to pick between. But these two energies could be in your life right now. And your imagination is on overdrive. All right, you're trying to figure out which is the better person to go with. And if that's not the case, it's more of just wanting to create something with one of these. And there's a fantasy here. Okay. All right, let's see what the Romance Angels have to say. <clears throat> All right, what are the messages for Sagittarius for the Romance Angels? <clears throat> What are the messages? What are the messages? All right, past life relationship. You have known each other before. So one of these people that are in your life right now, it's past life. You guys have, you guys recognize each other. When um, the, the, the soul is immortal, the body is mortal. So uh, when you die and go up into the spirit world and then come back to earth again. This card is saying that you, um, your soul remembers the person. Okay. All right. Finances and career. So financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So you might be working a little too hard this month or one of these people could be working too hard and you need time for yourself, time for the relationship. Okay. And the last one. So take some time and enjoy some of your personal life. Sagittarius. All right. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. This burden might be this burden that you're carrying um, might cause you to overthink things. OK, so just let go of it this month and let it flow. All right. There you go. That is your reading for all of you Sagittarius out there. I really hope you enjoyed this reading and don't forget to subscribe.
You can turn on the bell icon and every time I download a video, you guys will be notified. I would like to thank you for sharing, liking, commenting, subscribing to my channel. I truly appreciate it. And again, if you're interested in purchasing a private reading, please email me and I will get back to you within 24 hours. Thank you for watching and have a great month of January and take care. Bye-bye.